Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. If you're new here, my name is Trina and I make videos mostly about beauty devices. So if you're interested in this topic, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel before you go. I also have a private Facebook group all about beauty devices and I'm on TikTok and Instagram. I will leave links to all of this down in the description below if you're interested. Today's video is specifically addressing one of the most frequently asked questions that I have been getting on my channel for years since I started talking about microcurrent. And that question relates to injectables like Botox and filler. Whenever I talk about a new device, everybody wants to know, can I use it if I've had Botox or filler? Now, right off the bat, I want to say that my channel is all about alternatives to Botox and filler. There is no shade, no judgment to anybody that wants to get injectables. I just want my channel to be a place where you can come see results and demos of devices and skincare from someone that doesn't do Botox and filler. I want to provide alternatives to that because not everybody wants to do it. Not everyone can do it. I have never done Botox and filler. I'm 46 years old. I am very diligent with my skincare routine and with my beauty device routine. I'm using LED light therapy. I'm using the Nero laser for my eyes. I am using microcurrent. I'm using radio frequency. I'm testing out all these different devices, including ones that have EMS, electrical muscle stimulation. I'm testing out ultrasound. I'm testing out all these different modalities. The question that comes up mostly is around microcurrent and radio frequency. So the question always comes up, can I use these devices if I've had Botox and filler? I'm gonna talk you through what I know to be the answer this question and keep in mind I am just a beauty device consumer. I am certified by 7e wellness to do microcurrent and to do tutorials. However, I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. So I always highly recommend that you go check with your injector, tell them the devices that you want to use or you are using and have them work out a plan for you. This, what I'm going over today is just general rule of thumb. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different. So make sure you just check with your injector just to make sure that it's a good plan for you. So let's start with microcurrent. When you're using microcurrent, and in particular devices like the Myolift Mini or the Myolift QT, you are using the erase mode in most cases to smooth out forehead wrinkles, to smooth out your 11s, to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles around your eye area. So you are lengthening that muscle and trying to smooth it out. Now that's gonna be the exact opposite of when you get Botox because Botox is paralyzing the muscle. And even if you're using the educate mode on the MyLift Mini, that is lifting and firming and toning the muscles of your face, Botox is still going to be in contrast to that because it's freezing them where you're trying to stimulate them and work them with microcurrent. So that will be the case with all the other microcurrent devices that don't have that separate erase mode, like the New Face, the Freo Bear, they're lifting and sculpting and toning the muscles. So in any case, when you're working with a microcurrent device, what microcurrent is doing is the opposite of what Botox is doing. So you should wait at least two weeks after you get Botox to use microcurrent. You want to wait for the effects of the Botox to wear off a little bit because then you can leverage microcurrent to try to smooth out those areas using a device that can help build ATP and lift those muscles, tone those muscles, smooth those muscles, smooth those lines. So instead of getting more lax after the Botox starts to wear off, you can then switch to microcurrent to try to build up those muscles, tone those muscles, smooth out those fine lines. So definitely ask your injector if that's a good plan for you. If you spent all this money on Botox, then use your microcurrent device right after, you're just going to undo that effect. Definitely wait at least two weeks. In some cases I've seen four weeks, but definitely check with your injector to see what's the best time frame for you. But the rule of thumb is don't do them simultaneously because they are going to give you the opposite effect. And I've seen a lot of people join my community who couldn't get their Botox during the pandemic and then they switched to microcurrent and they've seen their skin look so much better over time and they've been able to wean themselves off of Botox because from what I understand, your tolerance to the Botox works such that you need to get more and more injected over time, which is why some people are attracted to microcurrent because they don't want to inject more and more Botox into their face. They'd rather find something that's going to naturally make their face look younger. And that's what microcurrent does. Now regarding filler, the research that I've done says that there is no issue using microcurrent on areas that you have filler. However, from what I've seen, it takes a couple days for the filler to settle. So I would say wait at least 48 hours after you get your filler to make sure it's settled, make sure it looks good, and then you can move on with using microcurrent in those areas. Again, check with your injector, make sure that they agree with you because I don't know what it is that you're getting and how much you're getting put in. You're not gonna run into those same issues that you do 
with Botox. Wait a couple of days after you get filler, but always check with your injector. Moving on to LED light therapy, what I have read is that it has no impact on your Botox and filler, and in many cases, it can make your skin even look better because you can have some bruising at the injection point or your face could be red or irritated, and the various LED colors can actually help with those conditions. So I would talk to your injector about the LED mask that you're gonna use or your LED light panel, whatever you have, your handheld, and just tell them what you intend to do and make sure that it is okay to use it uh, after you get Botox or filler and ask them how long you should wait, but there shouldn't be any issue with you using LED um, longer term on those areas. And then when I looked up the Nero laser, it said there's also no problem using the laser around your eyes that you've had Botox on or filler. But my thought on that is if you have Botox to get rid of these fine lines here around your eyes, why would you want to use a laser? Because if it's looking good, leave it alone. And then once you start to notice the Botox is wearing off, or like if you had filler under your eyes and it's starting to wear off, then that would be a great time to start using the Neuro Laser because it's gonna help stimulate collagen and help smooth out fine lines and wrinkles over time. And that is what that device does. And so you may find that you don't need to get Botox anymore if you're consistent using the Neuro Laser because it's going to help smooth out those fine lines. And also microcurrent erase mode can help to smooth out these fine lines and wrinkles. So that's really what I use instead of Botox is a combination of a microcurrent and the Neuro laser around my eye area to lift my hoods to smooth out these fine lines and wrinkles and to get rid of puffiness under my eyes so definitely again always check with your injector and let them know that you plan to use the Neuro laser and see if there's a waiting period but in general yes you can use these beauty devices if you are getting Botox and filler you just need to work out a plan that works for you with your injector so that you're not canceling out any of the effects of these procedures you've gone in to get. So I hope that helped answer your question. I know that it's not a one size fits all answer for everyone, but not everyone uses these devices in the same way because everybody has different skin concerns and has devices that work better for them or devices they love to use more than others. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave a comment below, share with a friend, and make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss my next video. Bye.